Welcome everyone, you may be trying to upgrade to iOS 16 and it's not working, you get the error message, software update failed and error occurred while downloading iOS 16 and this video will show you how to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my fix for iOS 14.8.1, you're probably thinking, oh 14.8.1 but when iOS 16, well all of the steps, what I'm about to show you, apply for iOS 16 and by the end You'll be able to get iOS 16 on your device, just like I was able to get iOS 14.8.1 back in the day. So I'm going to play that footage right now. So the first step, what I want you to do is best practice is to just force restart your device. So in order to force restart, if you have a capacitive home button, you hold down the power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. Just give it a little bit. Once you see the Apple logo, release both buttons off of your device. Now, if you have a capacitive home button, a capacitive home button is a home button where when you click it, there isn't a physical part being clicked, but you get a haptic a touch feedback. You just want to hold down the power and volume down buttons together until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, release both uh, buttons. Now, if you have an iPhone without the um, uh, the home button here, what you want to do is it's a bit more complicated. You just want to tap up, then tap down, and then tap the uh, uh, hold down the power button. So tap up, tap down, hold the power button, give it a little bit. Once you see the Apple logo, release the power button, and then you should be brought back to the home screen. So what you want to do before you actually try the software update again after the full restart is I want you to open up settings, general, and then iPhone storage right here. Make sure you have enough storage available for the software update to download. So I have uh, 20 something gig available. That means I'm good to go. No issues there. If you have one gig left, you know, two gigs left, make sure you have at least five gigs of storage available. Just clean up your files. Maybe you should uh, offload some applications. If you have the option to offload, uh, that is, it should show up right here. If you don't, you may need to delete some photos, all that good stuff, and then you'll be good to go. Next, you just want to go to this page still. And if you have the iOS update uh, showing in this downloads page, I recommend you delete it and then try again. So I actually did this earlier. So you can see I'm still currently on iOS 14.6 and I'm trying to update to iOS 14.8.1. And you can see if I just wait for this to load, it's going to say download and install here. But if you just take a look at the picture, uh, now it shows here, but usually it just says install here. Uh, I'm assuming after the software update failed, that automatically deleted the software update. But if you have this inside of the iPhone storage, you want to delete it. And finally, you just want to check if you have Sidia on your device. So if you have Sidia and you've jailbroken, uh, the jailbreak will block you from updating. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unjailbreak your device. And so if you have CheckRime, you just want to run CheckRime and open up the CheckRime loader. Find the restore file system inside the check and loader. You're good to go. In uncover jailbreak, you just want to tap on restore it to FS and then you'll be good to go. So that's going to fix it for me. That is the uh, root cause of why my software updates are not working. It's because I am jailbroken. However, if you went through all those fixes and you're still getting the software update error, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what to do in order to solve the issue. So we're going to actually have to enable uh, recovery mode and then we're going to have to update the latest iOS. So how do we do this? Well, uh, on a capacitive phone button device, while plugged into the computer, very important that you are plugged into the computer. Uh, if you aren't, well then, well, you're screwed. Well, uh, you're not screwed, you just can't enter recovery mode, right? So you just want to hold down power and home button together and because I'm not plugged in, I'm just going to show you the process here. Hold down power and home and when you see the Apple logo, you just want to release the power button but keep on holding the home button. This is for iPhones which have again that like, uh, physical home button and you just hold down the home button. Once you see the recovery screen, you'll see a TV and a, you know, a cable, you'll be good to go. Just on the computer, you will have the option to restore your iPhone. You will need to tap on restore. You will lose all your data. So before then you may want to create a backup just in case and then you'll be good to go. And that will 100% solve the issue on the, uh, you know, the capacity phone button device where you have the haptic touch here. Hold down power and volume down. And once you see the Apple logo, you just want to release uh, the uh, the power button here, but keep on holding the volume down. And if you have a uh, physical, uh, physical, <laughs> no home button device, right? What you want to do is you want to tap up, down, and then hold power, and just keep on holding the power button until you see the recovery screen, right? So you just want to keep on holding it down until you see that recovery screen, and then you'll be good to go. So uh, that should solve the issue. What I want to do is I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to unjailbreak my device, and I'm going to show you that that actually does fix the issue, uh, that this tutorial does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unjailbreak, and I'm going to show you the software update, uh, fully working, uh, me updating to iOS 14.8.1. Again, let me just show you real quick. If I go to the web page settings, I'm currently on iOS 14.6. So I'm going to cut and show you that this is a 100% working tutorial. 
All right, guys, so this has been, you know, a couple of days later. I had to put this video on the back burner, mainly because my internet just went down. But you can see I have Unjail Rock on my iPhone 6S. There's no more Sidia, no more Checkray, none of that crap. And now I'm downloading iOS 14.8.1. This is the uh, same iPhone 6S. Hopefully, I did show the back earlier. You can see there's a 262 poster. Look at all those scratches. Same screen protector. So I'm going to wait for this to download. Hopefully, I can capture uh, me tapping on installing and, you know, no issues showing up. However, if I can't, I'll just show you that by the end. I am on iOS 14.8.1 and everything did work successfully. So I'm just going to cut the video. All right, moment of truth. Let's just tap on install now here. So usually when it says verifying update, that's when the error shows up. So if I actually get to like a black screen, which is the progress bar, that means that the fix did work. And I'm just going to cut it and you'll be able to see the end iOS 14.8.1. So it's taking its time. Uh, it should work though, because, you know, I've done this before. <laughs> I've had the issue before. So we'll just give it a little bit for it to uh, verify the update. I want to make sure that, you know, you're downloading an unsigned version of iOS. And there you go. Just like that, you can see uh, the black screen right here. That means that the issue has been solved. You know, if you have the issue, you're not able to get past that screen. So I want to cut to once I'm on iOS 14.0.1. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this message right here. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.0.1. You can see this is actually, you know, happening. This is fully legit. Let's go to settings real quick. General and about and you can see there we go the update has been successful all the issues have been solved so hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're if you're brand new thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye